Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. In this nightcap, I do a little bit of plasma cutting. What actually happened was I took Deborah the wife away uh, for a couple of nights and I took her out to Gloucester, which just happens to be where the base is from my friend Rob from Extreme Plasma. So naturally we called in and I had a few hours lesson or tuition on the new plasma cutting software uh, I learnt more in two hours than I could probably learn in a week messing about by myself. So I'll show a little bit of that. Then I do a job, it's more steam wagon related stuff, it's an oil valve, it's got some damaged threads. Um, and you ask me if I could repair the threads, well I can't make damaged threads bigger. Um, so we'll go about machining it down and I put a sleeve on and remachine the threads back to size and it seems to work out quite nicely. I hope you do enjoy that. What, what are you making, Deborah? An apple and blackberry crumble. Where did you get the blackberries from, Deborah? <laughs> I picked them yesterday when I was... Uh... In Gloucester? Yeah. What were we doing in Gloucester? Was it a nice little holiday for you? Yeah, was... I got to stay in a hotel. And what, did we have a look at plasma tables? You like plasma tables, don't you? No, darling. You like plasma tables. You like well does. I like well does. Well, you saw Artec, didn't you? In knives. Knives, right? Yeah, yeah, we went to Artec. I've spent a lot of time this last week in this top shed where the plasma table lives and where I do all the welding. I've installed some new software, the latest software upgrade in the modified Z-axis. And things seem to be working very nicely indeed. I went down to my friend Rob with Extreme Plasma on Friday and he gave us a good going over showing us exactly how the new software works and it really is a massive improvement on the old stuff. The old stuff was easy enough to use but this new stuff really is a game changer. I'm going to cut a part out here now, quite a big part. It's a steam wagon, I don't know if you can see that or not but it is a big steam wagon. It's about as big as I can cut widthwise on this table. Hello John. Hi Rob, how, how are you doing? doing? Yeah. Thanks for coming down. Nice to see you. Pleasure, yes, any time. Yeah, yeah, yes. So, um, welcome. Well, it's a bit of a, an Aladdin's cave, being a, being a well, welder, I'm sort of, we, and a motor mechanic, I'm we, amazed we, at how much, how much got, stuff you've got in such a small space. We've got everything. Yeah, I have, yeah. And, so, uh, yes, we, This is an oil delivery valve off a Sentinel steam wagon. It puts oil into the throttle body which lubricates the engine and also helps to lubricate the steam braking system. The lad's not sure if it was working or not, so he took it off, but when he took it off he found out that the threads on the end of here are partially stripped. That's where it screws into the actual throttle body. So it's oil in there, that's a little test valve to make sure it's working, that's a shut off valve and it's injected from there into the throttle body. The thread is half inch BSP, I measured it, it's definitely half inch BSP. So I think what I'll probably do is the first thing is clean it up and I can hold it in a, a chuck in the centre there and machine the threads off. I've got quite a bit of meat on it in probably silver solder, a bronze sleeve over the top and recut the thread. And I can go a little bit deeper into here. Um, I haven't really got enough metal to machine it down and screw a sleeve on and silver so that is way way strong enough to do that and obviously I'll put a pressure test on it at the same time but the first thing is to clean it up right that's certainly a little bit better you can clearly see all the threads on the end there are piss wobbly that's to be repaired a little tape I see valve
There's definitely oil there. So it's, that's a good sign. There's a little valve in there. The seals on that face and seals on that face so you can shut the steam off to service the valve basically. So it means you can shut the steam off when it's in use. There should be a check valve in here. Should be, but it must be underneath there. We can have a look in there a little bit later on, but there'll be a check valve in there, there's got to be. But there's definitely oil there, which is a good sign. So I don't think this valve's given any problems, I think it's actually the oil pump. Because they reckon when they, when they loosen the little, the bleed nipple there, they were getting steam out of there, in not oil. So, which we'll see. I've got a half inch BSP pipe fit, and I can screw it into there. I'll be able to grip that meat chuck. Strangely enough, the last job I did on the lathe was brass. It's normally the other way around. I haven't gotten around to clean the lathe, so there's brass everywhere. Normally you clean it, and then you get another brass job in. So that'll go in there. When it drives, it'll try and tighten that. And I can put a centre in there to pick the centre up. And once I machine them threads off, I've kind of committed myself then. Well, it's no good the way it is, so... Right, it's running nice and true, so we can machine that off. Threads off there. It's going to be reference size 21mm. It'll be an imperial size, but it's going to be 21mm now. So that's the size what you're meant to bring it back to, which is actually the crown of the threads. There's nothing for it but to machine the bastard thing down, is there? I can go a little bit deeper, a little bit more thread on it. And I think silver so that's definitely the way to repair it. And it is a parallel thread, that's why it's got the check nut on. It means you can turn it into where it goes and you can stop it with a check nut. It'll be nice material, it's certainly bronze, you can see by the colour it's bronze. It's That may actually be brass, but it'll certainly be bronze I'm putting onto it. That's the little recess to put in there for their screw cutting tool when they made it all these years ago. I'm going to get a little bit more thread, I'm going to pinch it. A little bit more thread. I've got to fix the bastard thing there, haven't I? I'm going to turn that tip round, it's not very good. Right, that's machined down. And it means when I put a sleeve on there, I'm going to have plenty of material to cut my threads. So it's so far so good. A piece of nice bronze there, we'll get the, the bush out of that, no problem. That's 25, that'll be inch we want, a little bit off that. And a whole bone in there. So that's a nice fit, not tight, a slackish fit. And then we can machine it down and put some threads into it. You can see there, I've got plenty of room to cut the thread. machine and that's bronze where the other stuff was actually just brass. Take a little bit off the wood there, but we can machine it on the job. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll pop that off. In fact, I may as well drill right through, it's not that much. And I'll pop it off and just drill the, the bit we need because it's such a fortune. It's worth keeping that little end bit. to make horrible, horrible noises this this tool isn't dead on centre height that's a tool I modified I've got to do something with it to make sure it is on centre height it's not far away we'll just finish that off with a hacksaw To overemphasize that, the bit of wood to protect your layers bed from that has to be done. Many a layer being ruined by clumsy little bastards in school putting hacksaws into layer beds. should give us a slackish fit. I don't want it too tight, I want something for the solar to run down. That's just about just about perfect that. Superior reaction will pull the solar right through the end of the problem at all. I'm just gonna put a chamfer on the outer side. Just act sort of as a funnel for the, the soil that to run down. Make okay, sure so that'll drop onto there. I'll clean that up. Bollocks, man. Come back, you scabby bastard. I've got some silver solar flux on there. That drops in quite nicely. And there's enough room on there for the silver solar to be pulled down. The capillary action will pull the silver solar through there. Ready for a little bit of heat now, I think. Pleasant at all, lad. I'm going to turn the light on so I can see the colours better. Starting to get a little bit of red tinge to it there now, we're not too far away. Now we can put some heat on this. 
actual bush. There's one in there. Quite a lot of soil I've got to be going somewhere. And it's going right down into the joint. I like to see a sort of a ring on the bottom. There it is. So that soil I now penetrated all the way down there. That I guarantee this will blow off on it. Can't know where to stop. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. The soil that run out of there, that's not going to give any problems at all. I think we'll let it cool naturally and then 